President Trump is 76 years old. If the Department of Justice gets his way, he will die in federal prison. Just by one of these counts, conspiracy to obstruct justice, which has a 20-year maximum sentence. This is a disgusting, disgusting uh, mark on American history for the future to come by these bandits in the White House, by the Democrat Party that don't play fair anymore. They don't want to just win elections. They want to take control of this country. They want one party rule. And they have used the Department of Justice and the FBI to get what they want. This is a document case, a document case where a president of the United States or a former president faces 100 years in federal prison. Is this some kind of a sick joke on the American people? I don't want to hear from the legal analysts the technicalities about false statements and obstruction. This should never have been a criminal case. Willful retention of documents. What did he do with the documents? Did he sell them to the enemy? No. That's why we have an espionage act. Not the trick of a president. What did he do? Did he burn them all? No. The government has all the documents back. So there is no violation of the Presidential Records Act at this point. Joe Biden is the crookedest crook that's ever been in the Oval Office. 20 shell corporations, $10 million coming from the communist Chinese military, spread out among the family, no businesses to support this, endless meetings, endless meetings with, with, Biden's, uh, with Hunter Biden's business partners, Bob Alinsky, who ties Joe Biden to the crimes, Mr. Big, Mr. 10%. And what does Biden say? Well, then where's the money? He's asking us, come and catch me if you can. The idea that this man is, isn't under a criminal investigation and that they criminalized a damn document case to go after Donald Trump is sickening. And I would say this to our fellow Americans. Don't be bamboozled by these cable channels and these fools who come on and tell you, well, he's not above the law. Are you kidding me? Democrat attorney general in New York, Democrat prosecutor in Manhattan, Democrat prosecutor in Atlanta, Democrat attorney general in Washington, D.C. What do you mean he's not above the law? There is no law. What's going on here is a disgusting disgrace. It is war on Trump. It is war on the Republican Party, and it is a war on the Republic. While they cover up for Biden the way they covered up for Hillary. If Donald Trump is to be charged like this, Hillary Clinton should have been charged with 10,000 counts of obstruction because that's how many emails she destroyed. And five counts of destroying cell phones because that's how many cell phones they destroyed. I'm done, and I'm sick of it.